Hey, good morning. This is Justin with Ecclesia here with your morning manna. And we are looking at Psalm number 149, verse 2, where it says, Let Israel be glad in his maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. I think of Jesus as, as the true Israel, as the king of Israel, who is the embodiment of his people. Um, and he is in a situation before he goes to the cross, trying to explain to his disciples that that going to the Father, that his going to the Father is a good thing. He's trying to explain to them, listen, the Father is greater than I, so when I ascend to the Father, I'm going to intercede for you. Not only am I going to intercede for you, but then the promise of the Father can come, the Spirit. And so they're like, just show us the Father, just show us the Father. And he says things like, don't you know that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? And he wants them to have this blessed assurance that no matter what happens, that if they maintain their faithfulness, if they, if they stay with him, if they continue to believe on him and follow him, that in that trust, in that faith, that no one can snatch us out of the Father's hand because nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. He says, nobody can snatch you out of my hand. The Father and I are one. So we see the authority that the Father has has been given to the Son so that those who belong to the Son belong to the Father. And the Father has given all things into the hands of the Son. And so the only way that you can find yourself not included in God's Israel is by rejecting the Son. And so this is why we implore, implore everybody everywhere with every kind of wisdom to be reconciled to God. Why? Because if you are in Israel, if you are in the true Israel, in Christ, then you can rejoice in the Father. You can rejoice in our Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. You see, the Apostle Paul tells the pagan philosophers who are lost and without God in the world that, listen, yes, in Him we live and move and have our being, speaking of the Father. But the problem is, is that not everyone is in the Son. And so when we talk about being in Christ or in Jesus, in the Messiah, that is the place of protection, that is the place of, of, of hope and of love and those things that are not in Christ are still part of the old creation. And the old creation is passing away. A new creation has come and been completed in Jesus. And because it's been completed in Jesus, then God himself will complete it for the whole of creation, all of who believe. But if you reject the Father, then you reject the Son. And if you reject the Son, you reject the Father. Because if you don't have the Son, then you do not have the Father. And so therefore, the call is to repent and receive Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior. And you will be able to have this gladness and this joy or rejoicing that happens in Christ, in the Father, so that, why? So that God can be glorified in the Son. And that is what we are hopeful of, the glory of God. And may you have a very blessed day. May God touch your life in a powerful, powerful way as he leads you and guides you in paths of righteousness. And um, just, God is so good. Have a wonderful day.